Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. US President Joe Biden has delivered a stirring speech, warning of the risk of a Trump presidency and throwing his support behind Kamala Harris at the Democratic National Convention. Biden has reflected on his political life, receiving a standing ovation as he also called for an end to the war in Gaza. He's calling for voters to stand up against extremism. Are you ready to vote for freedom? Yeah. Are you ready to vote for democracy and for America? Yeah. Let me ask you, are you ready to elect Kamala Harris and Tim Walsh? Negotiations are continuing between Israel and Hamas on a ceasefire deal in Gaza. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says this round of talks may be the last opportunity to secure a truce and free the remaining hostages. Israel has accepted a proposal to stop the fighting for six weeks ahead of another round of talks. Hamas is yet to announce its position. Some of Australia's biggest banks are reducing interest rates on term deposits, partly in anticipation of a rate cut from the RBA. Commonwealth Commonwealth Bank has slashed returns by half a percent on most term deposits. NAB and ANZ are making similar moves. The Reserve Bank isn't expected to cut the official cash rate until next year. A major report will be tabled in federal parliament today, offering an assessment of the country's response to domestic violence. The 126-page document is the first yearly review to be released by the Domestic, Family and Sexual Violence Commissioner. It will outline the effectiveness of prevention measures and take stock of the support available to victim survivors. Popular AFL journalist Sam Landsberger has been identified as a pedestrian killed when struck by a truck in Melbourne. The 35 five-year-old was a leading reporter for the Herald Sun, with colleagues remembering him as an energetic and talented journalist who lit up the newsroom. The driver of the truck has spoken with police and has been released pending further inquiries. Sport and entertainment are next. In sport, the world tennis number one has tested positive to a banned substance but has been cleared of wrongdoing. Italy's Yannick Sinner has reportedly tested positive twice to a banned steroid substance back in March. The International Tennis Integrity Agency found Sinner had inadvertently been contaminated because his physio was using a product containing the substance on a hand wound which was transferred to Sinner when he carried out treatments. South Sydney centre Richie Kennar has had his careless high tackle charge downgraded, meaning he escapes suspension. But Giant star Lockie Ash has failed in his bid to challenge a one-match ban for a sling tackle at the AFL Tribunal. He'll miss the clash against the Bulldogs this weekend. In entertainment news, Disney has pulled the pin on a Star Wars series, confirming the acolyte won't be returning in a second season. It depicted the rise of the Sith roughly 100 years before events in The Phantom Menace. And Stranger Things star Millie Bobby Brown is to turn her debut novel 19 Steps into a feature film for Netflix. She's also in talks to star in the movie. The novel set in World War II and based on the experiences of her own grandmother. And that is the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you later on for another update. I'm Susie Thompson.